Are you happy at the moment? Uh, I'm very happy. I'm very tired because I've just finished the album, but I mm. can't wait to get, can't wait to play in Oz with this band. Because I mean, not, not only are we going to hit Oz with the orchestra, we're going to hit Oz with the 13-piece band as well, and the outfits and good goes what. So it's kind of nice because I mean, following up Dire Straits, no one could follow Dire Straits and do another rock and roll. I couldn't do that. Mm. I mean, you can't follow. It's just an amazing tour. So it's lucky we have got that all you know, with it. Because if you came to Australia and did another rock tour after. No one's going to be able to follow Dire Straits as a, as a rock tour for, for a long time. You're the only artist that I know on a solo level are where they start with a three-piece group, they can go into then a rock and roll band, then you can come out on a tour, which, I mean, most people thought was incredible situation of just you on piano and Ray Cooper on percussion. Uh, you can go back then to, in, in, into, like, literally the original band, and now you're touring, and in Australia, you're touring with a 100-piece orchestra, you know? I know. It's what... Um, I know you've done it before. No, I London. haven't. I've never well, done it. No, no, you, you did one performance. I played at the yeah. Royal Festival Hall, but it wasn't the yeah. same thing. Be, be, be playing with classical musicians. It's a thing I've always wanted to do, um, but it's a hell of a I mean, thing to put in, into, sort of, like, to get it going. Right. And we were approached by the people in Oz, and it appealed to me because it seemed the right time to do it, and they had plenty of time to plan it. I'd have only done it, if James Newton Howard couldn't have conducted it, I wouldn't have done it, and James is doing it. And I think it's going to be probably, well, I want it to be a mind boggler of the, it's going to be incredible, because Gus is going to record it. Gus, we've already tested the strings on the mics. I want it to be a gig where you can actually go and hear the orchestra without the band turning down, and mm. it will, it's going to be incredible. And, and I'm, I'm absolutely positive of that, and it's going to be one-off. And we're going to record it, I'm going to film it, but I'm delighted it's going to be in Oz. I'm, I don't kind of want the rest of the world to see it in a funny way. I'm, it's the, the, the Aussies came up with a suggestion, and it, it's, it's, it's so well planned, it's so much time's gone into it, and so much thought. I've sat down with James, everyone's gone into it, and it's going to be, it's going to be if it comes off, I mean, you can never predict anything, but I honestly think it's going to be one of the highlights of my career, absolutely. I, I get tingles thinking about how it can be. When you sort of come to a time where you think, well, I'm, I'm going to do a, another album. Uh, I mean, the last one you did was in England. Yeah. And this one you decided to record... In Holland. Right. Uh, yeah, well, the phonogram I record for most of the world, anyway. Uh, we had really great things about their studio, and Gus went and checked it out. And it's the only studio I've ever recorded, and I can give 10 out of 10 for it. It was absolutely brilliant as far as uh, quality of sound, the people being helpful. It was fabulous. Mm. I thought it was going to be... Because it was a, like a a major corporation studio. I thought it was going to be really sort of like, sort of like doomy, and, but it was brilliant. The people were great, the atmosphere was fantastic. In fact, he convinced Mick Jagger, I took Mick over there, and he's going to record there as well. It's, uh, the police have done a couple, they've done, there's been lots of albums been done there. It's just a great studio. You know, there's a time in a play, I've done enough albums in one place. You know, there's a time to change, and it's, being back with Gus, I've left most of this stuff on this album to Gus, and Gus has taken command, and. He went and saw the studio and said, yeah. In fact, he told me what tracks I were going to do on the album. I, there were three tracks on this album that I'd even forgotten about. And Gus, when I mm. rang up Gus from Miami when I was on holiday, and he said, these are the tracks you're doing. And I thought, oh, hold on a minute. And, I, you know, three of them I'd, I'd forgotten about. And, right. and they're good tracks. 